when you're navigating through a video game world, you know, just a traditional single player world, you can kind of get the impression or get the idea from what you see that that world is really super vast, that it's huge, that it's amazing, and there's so much out there. And it can be overwhelming, right? You can kind of look at it and you can say like, wow, what a huge play area. But then you realize the more that you play these games, especially the single player games like this, is that the actual play area that you're getting to use to kind of explore is not really all that much. It's actually kind of deceptive because there's a lot of little tricks that game developers use to kind of hide what's around the next corner to make areas look bigger than they are. One of the, you know, one of the reasons why I think that uh, Blizzard has always uh, regretted uh, adding flight into World of Warcraft is because, especially in the old world, you can actually see how small the zones are. And it really, I think it makes the game look, it made the game a lot smaller. And I think that that's one of the things that they deeply regret. But recently CIG, uh, one of the developers was talking in Star Citizen Live and they talked about the problem of flight mechanics, dogfighting, and they touched on the speed issue, which I thought was, you know, kind of interesting. When they started mentioning that, I went like, oh. You know, because we've been talking about this a little bit recently. You know, we've been having some fun with the with these mechanics, and this has kind. This has always been kind of one of these things that it's just waiting for just a little bit more things to come online in the game, and then it's going to kind of flip things on its head. Especially when it comes to dogfighting and the idea that maneuver fighting and positional combat, as people have related to it in arena commander just doesn't apply in star citizen it's a whole different set of rules because one of the biggest things is you're not trapped in that little 20 kilometer area now the counter argument to this the, the proposed fix that a lot of people kind of throw out there to kind of keep that arena commander feel is the idea of lowering the speed of the ships that we use in star citizen you know just lower the speed lower the speed bring it down but the problem is is that if you think about a direction that you're flying in, and let's say, you know, you're in a cutlass and somebody's chasing after you in a gladius. If they're just orbiting around you and you're standing still, they can easily maintain that circle. But as you start to move in a direction and that orbit is now chasing after the object it's orbiting, as it moves up, to try and get in front of you, it's gonna slow down. It's gonna move a lot more slowly because it's now having to kind of accelerate past you. And that speed differential isn't going to be what it is if you were standing still. And then as it comes around the other side, even if it can, if it can get out in front of you, as it starts to go back the other way, it's gonna, you know, you're going in one direction, they're going in the other, you're gonna accelerate away from them. So that, that circle of the circle of that orbit becomes kind of oblong it becomes kind of egg shaped and then they got to kind of try and come all the way back and then they got to you know do that again and that's when they're trying to you know come up on you when they're trying to close on you that's when they become a very easy target and i've kind of illustrated that in the video in a video in the past it doesn't quite work the way a lot of people have idealized it so they want that speed to come down but the problem is is that realistically you don't need a lot of speed to make that happen you would have to kind of cut people almost in half in terms of flight speed in order to you know kind of pull this trick off now there's a problem because star citizen isn't built like a traditional single player game that i just showed you star citizen is far vaster than just about any other game out there with the possible, ex well, the truly the exceptions, you know, Elite Dangerous and EVE Online. Star Citizen is a massive world and transiting from one point to another in that world would be exceedingly punishing and time consuming if it wasn't for the fact that we can kind of push these ships up to very, very high speeds. Now it is still limited, even though the limits are arguably a little bit artificial in terms of Newtonian physics because you're basically just 
accelerating in one direction. You don't have any drag on you, so you can just keep going. The only limit really is how quickly you can accelerate based off of the weight that you're pushing and how much fuel you have to just kind of keep going in one direction, right? So, you know, it, you, when you're not dealing with wind resistance, you, there's nothing pushing back on you. So you just kind of keep accelerating. And if you look at a mission like this, where we're having to go over 200 kilometers to get to our landing site to, you know, pick up the drugs and do all that stuff. That would be a hell of a trip if we had to do this at 300 meters a second or 150 meters a second or 400. As we kind of get up to useful speeds to kind of transit this vast and huge world that we, you know, that we want to explore and that CIG is building, we kind of brush right past the speed where maneuver combat really becomes possible. Now, in a way that this this kind of favors the ship that's running running away, or this favors the ship that's going to pass through a battle very quickly, decouple, bring its guns to bear, boom, 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 shoot, and then recouple, and then accelerate and line up for another run. And with the with the things coming online very soon, with you know server blade controlled turrets or the possibility of NPCs manning those turrets, it becomes very problematic for CIG to kind of try and regulate and balance this because I think what is kind of happening is, at least from what I heard, from, you know, that CIG dev talking about is that, you know, they kind they're aware of this issue. Everyone's been kind of fixated on the idea of arena commander on squadron 42 and now they're kind of realizing what is for all intents and purposes an unlimited world with unlimited distances and they're kind of bucking up against the reality of six degrees of freedom and the reality of space combat, which is that in a more realistic setting, space fighters don't generally tend to survive in that environment but there's a there's a number of concerns now some people have said you know a flight engine like the star wars system where it's kind of like world war ii fighters in space is unrealistic i would argue that it is unrealistic but star citizens flight engine in terms of you know fast jinking and changing directions and maneuvering very quickly is probably a little bit unrealistic as well just because not in terms of how ships move or how objects move in space in you know given newtonian physics but in the way that a player as a pilot as a character within the game can actually survive and take those g-forces i think that these g-forces kind of go i think that they're a little misrepresented in the game and i th i feel that truthfully if we were to pull some of these high g maneuvers like you see me pulling and suffering seemingly no ill side effects whatsoever and we were to do this on a regular basis um you know this would probably not kill me but it would be extremely unpleasant you know and i think that that's kind of what cig's wrestling with sooner or later we're going to be able to drag living npcs onto our ships we're going to be able to man turrets on some of these larger multi-crew ships and that's going to breathe, you know, breathe a lot of new life into ships like the Vanguard, certainly ships like the Redeemer. Once the Redeemer gets in game, that is going to be a big game changer. And I think a lot of people are going to be kind of looking at these ships, even Connie's and things like that. And they're going to be saying, you know, these are really the ships that can actually keep up with a running away ship like a like a caterpillar or like a carrick and may be able to weather the storm long enough to disable that ship if they can also happen to carry you know a quantum disruption module i th i i understand what people are arguing for but i think that the space combat that they kind of want to see the space combat that they hope that cig is going to realize in star citizen is frankly it's it's something that belongs in Star Wars thank you, thank you.
for watching. So, 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 so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow, please follow, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.